Hey what's up everybody, Ken here and today I will be showing you how to set up and install mods in Super Smash Bros for Wii U. Now at first glance, modding may appear to be a rather daunting task, but I will try my best to simplify the process and make it easier to understand. As for the prerequisites, you're going to need an SD card with at least 2GB of space, a computer that can read SD cards, a copy of Super Smash Bros for Wii U, a Wii U with the update 5.5.0 or 5.5.1, and finally, a Wii U gamepad. Now really, the only thing that you're going to need to download is the Smash 4 modding pack. This will contain essentially everything that you're going to be needing to set up your mods on your Wii U. And the second link here is thankyou.zip, but you may notice that the file size is quite large, so this is definitely going to take a, a while for you to download almost 6 gigabytes of data but I do highly recommend that you download this because it will allow you to install more elaborate mods and essentially make your modding experience oh so much better but either way both these links will be in the description below and once you have download, downloaded them the smash 4 modding pack here you're gonna right click extract here and it will bring up these four files uh, the modding tutorial here is essentially um, this entire tutorial, but in text format. So simply just open up uWizard, go to Settings, and insert the Wii U Common Key. You don't need to insert these keys here, they are not necessary, but you absolutely need the Wii U Common Key. Now, I cannot tell you what the Wii U Common Key is, but what I can tell you is that Payspin and Google will be your friends. I repeat, Payspin and Google will be your friends. Now once you've inputted the common key, simply go to Nuz Downloader U and insert this code into the title ID. Click Decrypt Contents and leave the version number blank. This will allow you to download the latest patch of Smash 4. So hit start download and a bunch of stuff will start popping up here and once it is done uh, this folder will come up open that this is the version number and you're going to want to click on contents now from the smash for modding folder you're going to not that you're going to drag in where is it oh the ls file put that in here and if you downloaded the thank you dot zip, you will drag in, if it was there, drag in the D, these two DT files. Alright, now that we've done that, simply go back and drag the version number onto your desktop. Close that. Open up Smash Explorer. And it's going to prompt you that it needs to find the content folder from the patch. So simply look on the desktop, since that is where we put it, find the version number, click OK, save, OK, and there we go. So here is where you load in the mods into Smash 4. So what we're going to be using is Game Banana, because Game Banana is currently where most of the Smash 4 mods are being uploaded, but in particular, what I'm going to be using is a certain Lucina skin that I curated. So since I already have that downloaded, all we have to do is go to the appropriate folders. Where is Lucina? There is Lucina. And drag stuff into their respective folders. But once that is done, go project, build the mod, and it will essentially build the package of the mod. And depending on how many files you have or are attempting the mod, it will take long or it won't, depends. But let, let it just do its work. Alright, so we will say completed compilation of the mod, go to directories, open export directory release, content, and remember that this patch folder is here. 
So next, you're going to want to open up your SD card. And preferably, you want to have an SD card that is blank. And you're going to want to open up the SD card files from the, the pack. And drag those into your SD card. And once you've done that, click on the folder that has all these numbers. And you see that there's also a patch folder here. So go back to the content folder that had the patch and drag that on in to your SD card. Alright, now that that is complete, you can right click on your SD card and hit Gems. Now we can go put in the SD card into our Wii U and load up the mods. Alright, so after you've inserted your SD card into your Wii U, you're going to want to boot it up and go straight into your internet browser. After that, go to settings and delete cookies. Once that is done, go to enter URL and insert this well URL. L O A D I I N E dot O V H. Hit OK and it will bring you to this screen. And where it says select your program, tap the drop down on your gamepad, scroll down until you find SD Caffeine plus kernel. Press submit and it's going to run the kernel exploit. And now it's going to cause your screen to go white and it will bring you back to the home menu. And once that's happened, go straight back into the internet browser and it will boot up part 2. Now I recommend having Lodine as a bookmark on your Wii, just for future convenience in the modding process. Now your screen's going to go white, and you will not see anything on your TV, but on your gamepad, you will see this screen. Now all you have to do is just press A, nothing else. You don't really need to do anything on that screen, just press A. And once that's done, all you have to do is load up Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And if you've installed everything correctly, your mods should be successfully loaded. Alright, so Smash has successfully loaded, and if everything has been installed correctly, then the Lucina skin should be on Kashim 7, yep. So as you can see, there is a different portrait than the usual, which means I have indeed installed this Lucina skin correctly. So let's quickly check out what it looks like in-game. Alrighty, looking real spiffy. So, as you can see, this is not your usual Lucina skin. This is a custom recolor that I created, which is recolored in the scheme of Robin, so I can play both my mains technically at the same time. So yeah, if you want to download this skin, it is in the description below, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if I was able to help you out, why not leave a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, and if you have any questions or problems, be sure to leave them in the comment section below, for I would be happy to help you out in any way that I can. But anyways, I suppose I will. I'll smell you later.